on our way to Barrie, Ontario, beautiful Barrie, Ontario, to check out a beautiful pond. Hey, Dan. Doing great. How are you? Oh, yeah, good, good, good. I'm excited to see them. My film guy. Matt, bring it in. How's it going? Great to see you. Good, good, good. So, yeah, just pretend he's not here. You That's can... okay. Nothing but grass here before. What's it, what's it, Dan? It's been, I think I was here early spring for a brief minute and then haven't really been back since last, uh, since we finished up in the fall. But this part in particular is one of my favorite parts, actually, coming around this corner because in a second you're going to just be blown away. A couple new chairs out there, I see. Yeah. Holy. I've already spotted that tropical water lily, but we'll get to that. They like no. They're like so friendly. This is honey over here. Oh my goodness, look at that. Yeah. Now, did you ever think you'd be feeding fish? No. Absolutely not. No way. Oh wow. Wow. Yeah, that is crazy. Wow, I don't know. I must not be feeding my fish the right right treats. Look at that. You're gonna have to you're gonna have to try this, Matthew. Look, see, even if it's just little. Uh, right, right, right. They're so friendly. It's and they each have their names. Yeah. yeah. Look at that water quality. Isn't that insane? You know, there's so much to focus on. I just. Wow. Shagoi. Okay. Shagoi are, are known to be very, very friendly. Oh. So when you end up with her, that was the, one of the most important things to me. Uh, she's kind of tamed all the other ones. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, oh, I'm tamed. <laughs> hey, where are you going in? All right. What it's all about, man. All right. Ready? Right Woo! That's awesome. Just sit around or whatever and have a drink and everything. Right. It's yes. all around the whole park. Sit yeah. right here, yeah. And also set your cup right here. You set your cup, yeah. yeah. And also from a safety perspective for kids, right. they can get around, they can get out anyway. Right. Yeah. Right? True. True. The fish nibble your toes yet? <laughs> this is a Firefox tropical water lily. And just look at these massive leaves. Look at the veins underneath there, and the, the cool difference too compared to a regular water lily is these, um, like, I don't know what you call these jagged edges on the side here. Compared to the regular water, the water lilies are nice and smooth, and they don't get nearly as big as this. So this one's also variegated, which is the two colors there, so it looks that much cooler. The swim pond, just hear me out, just hear me out. How about a swim pond? And then I, I went, You're Dan, like, I remember, I remember saying to you, Dan, and then you're like, no chemicals, filtration. It's like swimming in a lake in your backyard. Do you remember that? Yeah. And then I was like, okay, I'm not saying no, we'll look into it. It's funny because from that to this, and then people think like, you think pond, because that's what I thought. I thought pond and dirty. Right. But it's like it doesn't have to be. It's no. like crystal clear. You can't swim in cleaner water. It's like crazy. And until you come and see it, like how many like ants, um, like people who don't understand it, yeah. it's like okay, okay. And then we just had my mom's birthday last week, and my aunt and I, as soon as you walk back, yeah. they're like, pictures don't do it, that's no. it. the videos yeah. don't do it. You them. feel it, like when you're immersed in it. Like, exactly. Your senses have got to take it in. Oh, that's so cool. Here's the seat. I need to share the 
All right, everybody, we are in Barrie, Ontario now for the second part of our tour today. And we are checking out our amazing recreation pond that we finished up just a year ago. So it's already been one year and this thing is just incredible. I mean, take a look and try your best to take all this in right now. I know the video is not going to do it justice, but standing here, I'm just, I'm taking it all in. My senses are filled right now. The smell of the fire, the chairs, the sound of the waterfalls, the plants, everything is so pleasing to the eyes. It's just such an amazing feature. I'm going to just get right in now. So everything you're looking at, none of this was here before. This was completely bare, just a patch of green grass. I don't even know how that was possible looking at what is here now. But if you can imagine just blank, nothing but grass here before. We had big machines coming all around in here, excavators, uh, skid steers, moving materials. There was dirt and stone being moved all over this place. It looked like a major construction zone at one point. And just check out the finished product. Absolutely crystal clear water. Plants and the fish are all thriving. We got an gorgeous negative edge intake bay over here. Let me just show you this for a second. Our first ever negative edge intake bay that we've done as a company and we just knocked it right out of the park. Absolutely perfect. So this is meant to skim all the debris off of the surface of the pond here. This is the big catchment area for all the debris. Nothing in here right now. It's just that time of year where the homeowners literally have to do nothing to maintain this pond. They just chill out by this water feature, go swim in, I'm in my swimming suit because I was already swimming, as you saw. Ooh. This right here, just come on a little bit closer and I'll show you. This massive section of the pond right here is actually the main biological filter for the pond. So you can see our snorkel lids there. Those are clean out ports for this actual filter. But this hole is actually five feet deep maybe even more than that, five and a half feet deep. There's a layer of aqua blocks at the bottom. And then on top of those aqua blocks, there's layers of aggregate starting from small or larger stuff in the bottom and gradually getting up towards the smaller stuff that you're seeing on the top here. And this is acting as the main filter for the pond. So water's moving up through this massive filter. These plants and these rocks are allowing for all this beneficial bacteria to colonize, which just helps keeping this water so pristine and crystal clear. And just check out these rocks. Like I just can't say enough about these rocks that we're blessed to be able to use on this project. It's not every project that we get to use rocks like this, but anytime we get to use rocks like this, they're just so easy to work with. They have such natural textures that just blend so nicely with what we're always trying to do here. So these rocks are just absolutely amazing. Really nice big rocks, but we've also made it so that you can get in and out of here really easily. So it's very safe for the kids. There's ledges here you can sit on and have drinks on. But check out this waterfall, come along here. So again, this waterfall just has so many natural, so many different elements of interest that are so cool. We got driftwood along the back end there. We got really awesome outcroppings, that creeping jenny and those sedums have really grabbed hold of that whole section there. And again, I, I spoke about this in our last video, attention to detail is so important when we're trying to recreate nature as closely as possible. Just tell me that that doesn't look like nature itself created that. Again, so anytime we build these waterfalls, especially when they're as big as this one, we want to have as much, again, as many different points of interest as possible. So we don't want to have, you know, a staircase look where the waterfall looks the same all the way from the top to the bottom. It's massive. So we have all this room to be creative. So, you know, here down here, we split it up and have water moving around these boulders here and moving around here. And up top, we have this split up into different directions to give different, again, different sense of appeal and some contrast to the water feature. I want to show you guys one of my favorite parts about this waterfall, this little spot right here. This little nook where water actually goes right through this stone and then sneaks out around this corner here. So this wasn't even planned. This actually eroded naturally. It was a little swelling here that kind of swelled up like a whirlpool and came over and it actually eroded itself through that hole. And just how natural and cool that looks. I mean, I couldn't have planned that even, my, I couldn't have planned that myself because that's just nature doing its thing. So the last thing I want to point out about this water feature is just 
in general how amazingly interactive this is. So the homeowners absolutely love this thing. And one of the things they talk about has the endless, endless hours of enjoyment. Doesn't matter if it's nighttime, if it's wintertime, morning, cold, hot, there always is a way to be out here enjoying this water feature. You can see right here, we got a fire pit going. So this is gonna be amazing at nighttime in the fall, when it gets cold, even in the winter, we can roast some marshmallows on those mild winter days. You know, sets of chairs on both sides of the pond here so they can catch the sun at different times of the day. It's just so multi-dimensional. Waterfalls at both ends, the sound of water coming from all different directions. It just literally fills your senses, this water feature. And that is what it's all about. The wood, the big rocks, the beautiful fish here that are literally gonna come and swim right up to my hands as I come up and walk here. Look at this, hey, honey. I mean, this is what it's all about, petting the fish. That is what the pond life is all about. This is it right here. I bet you have never pet a fish before. Thanks so much, Dan. Yeah, no problem. Absolute Fine. pleasure. Thanks so much. Thank you.